Hello everyone, in this video we are going to iterate our on-premise i301 patch 3 with the new PS3 Cloud. Even though the configuration is pretty straightforward, we are going to have a look at the components and we are going to go through the configuration steps. So let's get started. Uh, here we have our eyes and as I mentioned a moment ago, um, I have installed patch 3, which is a, a patch needed to um, perform this type of integration. A patch 3 has been out for at least um, a week. I think it, it has been released in, uh, back in May the 2nd. So it, it should be available for everyone. So I have installed here and you will see um, the uh, the option according to the documentation for the PS3 cloud. So patch three, which is one of the requirements, it's already covered. We have patch three. And with this patch, we are going to see some of the options that we are going to need to enable in order to integrate us with PX3 cloud. The first element that we need to review is the PS3 configuration and PS3 um, information. So if we go to, uh, to administration deployment, if, uh, please note this is a standalone and in case you have different um, different nodes or you have a com uh, distributed deployment, you need to enable PS3 on the PS3 node. So I'm going to use this standalone for this demo, but it's important to note you need to enable PS3 service in a specific node in your deployment. So let's click on this. And if we scroll down a little bit, we are gonna see the PS3, but also we see one option that it says enable PS3 cloud. So as long as we enable PS3, we have the option to enable uh, PS3 uh, PS3 Cloud as well. So if you have IS 3.1 with patch 1 or 2, you won't see this option as patch 3 comes with this additional uh, feature. So I have uh, this already enabled. So we have pretty much covered this one. And just to make sure we have everything in place, I'm going to uh, check the PS3 service already uh, it's already running. So if we go to administration, PS3 services, go to client management. We are gonna see uh, the PS3 cloud, PS3 client, and we also see uh, groups and certificate. And here you will see two different options. First one is PS3 cloud connection. This is where we are going to uh, integrate ICE on-premise through uh, the configuration to the connection, and we are going to uh, see the successful connection with PS3 Cloud. And the second one, which is PS3 Cloud policies, this is where we are going to enable, we are going to select the number of options uh, for the type of information that we want to exchange between ICE and PS3 Cloud. As you can see, we have ERS API, we have Open API, and we have this option disable and we are going to explain this in a moment. Um, in the other side, we have our PS3 Cloud account. So if you are testing this with a Cisco account, most probably you won't be able to um, log in into it. And the reason for this is uh, because um, you need to have a uh, non-Cisco account and you need to have um, another type of emails at least this is what happened to me and I've heard a couple of other folks have faced the same thing so um, in this case I have I'm already logging into it and we have four different uh, sorry five different offers each one of them has its own configuration steps but for this demo I'm going to go uh, with this particular offer, which is uh, the PS2 Cloud. So as long as uh, you see this option, well, you are okay, and you should be able to configure uh, and integrate the PS2 Cloud with your ICE environment. So uh, let's click on subscribe, and we have a new offer. 
Okay, in this case, you will uh, select this. This is already chosen. And you can have uh, different regions. In my case, I only have West 2, but depending on the region you are, you do when you are going to see different regions. And the only thing that missing is that I need to agree on Cisco DNA um, agreement. And then I'm going to click on subscribe. Okay. At that moment, I have subscribed to one PSC cloud. As you can see, we have the region on West 2, and we have one region on the on the left and one on the uh, on the right. It's just offers and subscriber. The next thing that we are going to do is just click on launch, and this will take us uh, will take us to um, another page. This is uh, this page is specific for the PS3, and we have a the right place to start configuring our iOS environment uh, for the connection purposes. Um, here we don't have any iOS registry as of for, as for now, so the next step is just basically to start with the integration. Um, as mentioned earlier in the video, this is a pretty straightforward, however, we need to uh, make sure we follow all the steps in the correct order, otherwise we may see of different behaviors or we may see a different type of errors. So let's click on register Cisco eyes and let's give it a name. In my case I'm gonna put it as Cisco um, put it eyes demo. That's more than enough. I won't add any de uh, description. Uh, you can um, always uh, add any description just to uh, make this um, registration more descriptive. Uh, so I'm going to click on register located on the uh, lower right um, section. So I'm going to click on register and what I'm, what I'm going to get is the OTP. So this OTP is needed to complete the integration and we are going to pass this OTP token into ICE and environment on premise. Well, I'm going to copy just to make sure I have copied correctly. As you can see, we have ICE demo here, and we have the option to generate OTP as well. Okay, this registration registration status um, the registration is called uh, pending because we haven't integrated and we haven't uh, passed the OTP token, so the integration is not completed yet. So let's go back to our ICE and. Let's click on the PSG Cloud connection and click on Setup Connection. So this is where we need to paste the token. So let's paste it and click on Connect. And at this moment, it will start with two, uh, four different processes. I'm going to explain each one of these processes in a briefly manner in the document. So stay tuned and visit the, my blog. And in this and this one where I'm going to explain and give additional information about this. So at this point, we have four steps. These four steps have been completed successfully, and now we have connection between our PSG cloud and our Cisco eyes. If we click on uh, the clients, just to make sure we have a client registered, we have PSG clients. Those are the clients that we are going to see if we integrate ICE with other on-premise solution, uh, WSA, Firepower, just to give an example. And we have another option for a PS to the cloud clients. Uh, okay, from some reason I'm not able to see it, that's weird. Okay, you should be able to see, it might take some time, so let's give it some time. Uh, and let's go back in a moment. So we have here groups, uh, and the connection, well, here we are, we are seeing the connection is uh, completed. And on the right, we should be able to see something different as well. So let me click on this just to try to pan in after session. So let me try to uh, refresh the page. And let's see if that works. Let's see if that helps. Okay, so now we are seeing our register, that's a good sign. If we click on clients, we should be able to see something. If not, well, let's give it uh, give it more time. Perhaps it's gonna come out. I'll let it later on. 
as of now, we have our integration successfully. Uh, we have 100% success. So on the left side, we are going to see what options we have related to cloud policy. So as I mentioned earlier, we have different options. You can see we have a description as with other secure uh, features. And here um, we have the options of the type of information that we can use to exchange. So we have trust SXP, we also have configuration of trust X, profile, ANC, uh, radius failure, etc. So we can uh, select all of them or we can select just uh, some of them. And this information will be exchanged uh, through PS3. Uh, so uh, in my case, I have selected, I've chosen all of them, and then I'm going to enable uh, ERS and API as well as Open API. So uh, we can leverage these two options for API in, in the next video and uh, do some testing regarding the APIs and the automations. As you can see, there is no option to enable it. This is completely gray out. And the reason for this is because we have an enable ERS or open API in the local eyes. So if we don't enable these two options locally, you won't be able to enable ERS on open API once the integration is done. And I think this, this is comes with, uh, this has a description, enable ERS API uh, locally on Cisco eyes, okay? You need to go to administration settings, API settings and uh, API services settings. So next thing we are going to do, I'm going to click on save because I don't, I don't want to miss these changes that I've made. And let's go to system uh, settings. On the left side, we should see the API settings. Here you are. And then click on the API. So here we, both the options are disabled. So let's click on Enable on it. Let's click on this one. Uh, okay, this is more than enough. I'm going to click on Save, and I'm going to click on OK. So if we go back to uh, the PS Grid page, we should be able to enable both options now. So let's go back and click on uh, PS Grid Cloud Policy just to make sure we have seen this uh, correctly. Uh, we have ERS API. Let's click on enable it. So now I'm able to in it, uh, enable the option given that I have enabled both options locally on ICE. And this is important part here. And here we have open API and let's try to enable it. Okay, it worked. And click on save. Okay. So um, this is uh, pretty much the configuration what we can do as well, if you have other eyes, is just click on here, uh, eyes, copy, uh, sorry, define a name, uh, click on register, and you are gonna get another OTP password, OTP uh, token. And the only thing that you need to do then, uh, after that is just to paste it. So you can have this connectivity and follow the same procedure. Uh, last but not least, let me double check this bar. Okay, for some reason it's not showing it. Perhaps it, it might take some time because uh, this is in a different location. This is a, a lab, so it might take some time. So I'm gonna leave it as it is and I want to check later later on. Um, okay, let's see what, have, what else we have. Is that, okay. Uh, before I uh, finish with this video, before I, uh, uh, finish with the video. I'm going to explain very briefly uh, the troubleshoot. One of the troubleshooting options we have it should be on the operations level wizard. So if for some reason our eyes local eyes is not able to communicate with PS3, or for some reason we don't see a successful communication, uh, there is one option which is here. Let me see our PS read. Okay, PS read. Oh, sorry, it's not on devil profile, but a devil log configuration. Let's click on here. Okay, let's filter out and let's type PS read. Okay, 
So basically we have two different uh, two different messages. The first one is just PS3 messages and the second one is PS PS3 cloud. So you can see we have blocks. So if for some reason we have um, any problem, any trouble to integrate it, what we can do is just uh, change the level, the log level, change to debug and try one more time and get the, the information after that just to confirm we have everything needed or um, we can have a look at those logs, those debug logs and see what is wrong or what is not covering yet. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, through uh, the next video, I'm going to uh, test. Going to let. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit about the um, the API options. Let's see what we can do now that we have these two elements configured and integrated. But as for now, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.